James C. Mather, the visionary behind the James Webb Space Telescope, once said that this powerful instrument would allow us to observe the first galaxies to form in the early universe, peer behind clouds of cosmic dust and gas to see stars forming, and reveal new details about places like Europa and Titan that may harbor life. It's safe to say that even the most optimistic scientists didn't expect just how transformative the James Webb Space Telescope discoveries would be. The telescope has opened a new window into our cosmic past, revealing strange galaxies that challenge our understanding of the universe. Take, for instance, the galaxy known as Jade's GSC-13. This ancient galaxy, existing only 325 million years after the Big Bang, defies conventional models of galaxy formation. According to these models, galaxies as large and structured as Jade's GSC-13 should not have existed so soon after the Big Bang. Yet, here it is, presenting a unique opportunity to peer into the early stages of cosmic evolution. The discoveries made by the James Webb Space Telescope are shaking the very foundations of astrophysics and cosmology. They force us to reconsider long-held assumptions about the formation of stars and galaxies. We're witnessing galaxies that are already highly developed mere hundreds of millions of years after the Big Bang. This challenges the idea that the universe needed billions of years to form the galaxies we see today. But the surprises don't end there. The telescope has also uncovered evidence of ultramassive black holes near the Big Bang. These findings, coupled with recent research suggesting alternatives to the standard cosmological model, are reshaping our understanding of the universe's origins. The James Webb is not only expanding our knowledge, but also prompting us to question everything we thought we knew about the cosmos. James Mather, the Nobel Prize-winning astrophysicist behind the James Webb, believes that we need to rethink our theories about the formation of stars and galaxies. He suggests that the first stars might have been massive blue supergiants that burned out quickly, leaving no traces behind. This is contrary to the population three stars that existing models predicted we would find. So what exactly are population three stars? Well, in early days after the Big Bang, there were no stars twinkling in the darkness, no galaxies swirling in the vast expanse of space. But then something incredible happened. The very first stars emerged, shining with a brilliance that lit up the cosmos. These weren't just any stars. They were the pioneers, the trailblazers of stellar evolution. Known as Population 3 stars, they were made almost entirely of the simplest elements in the universe, hydrogen and helium, with a little bit of lithium. They didn't have the heavy elements like carbon or oxygen that we find in stars today. But why are these ancient stars so important? Well, think of them as the cosmic architects laying down the foundation for everything that came after them. You see, as these population three stars lived out their brief lives, they created something truly extraordinary, the building blocks of life itself. Through a process called nucleosynthesis, these primordial stars forged heavier elements in their cores, elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron when these stars eventually exploded in dramatic supernova events they scattered these newly created elements far and wide seeding the cosmos with the raw materials needed for planets moons and even living beings to form but james webb with its latest discoveries has suggested something quite different and is forcing us to question our old theories on origin of universe the James Webb ability to observe galaxies as they were billions of years ago is a testament to human ingenuity and technological advancement. It's also a reminder that our understanding of the universe is always evolving.
As we push the boundaries of what is possible, we're bound to encounter surprises that challenge our preconceived notions. The James Webb is a beacon of curiosity, guiding us toward a deeper understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. Let's meet again another time at same place, maybe with another you.